Howdy! We have discussed before the three basic logic operations, AND, OR, and NOT. These are the terms that are part of our common English vernacular. And with those three operations, we could express any logic statement in the world. But then we were introduced to other foundational logic operations. NAND and NOR logic has a special property of being able to reproduce any of the other logic operations. We will explore that in this video. Later videos will show techniques to replace entire logic circuits with only these gates. NAND and NOR are known as universal gates. This is because, on their own, they can produce any of the other logic operations. This means that if all you had were many, many NAND chips, you could build circuits to represent any logic statement. In fact, you could build an entire CPU using just NAND chips, and a lot of time. The same is true for NOR chips. In order to do this, we must be able to reproduce the basic logic operations. On this slide, we'll see how to replace AND and OR. On the next, we'll see NOT. The setup to reproduce the nearest neighbor logic is a simple one, as you see in the left column. What is the difference between AND and NAND? They are complements of each other. So if we take a NAND gate and then complement its output, the result is an AND operation. This can be seen in the gate diagrams themselves. Two bubbles in a line effectively cancel each other out. This is also reflected in the algebraic equation. The equation drawn directly from the gates shows that we first AND x and y, then complement once, then complement again. Our Boolean algebra rules show us that any term complemented twice just results in the original term. So we see just an AND operation. The same is true down below when replacing an OR operation with NOR. We simply take the NOR output and complement it. So, transposing between these nearest neighbor operations is straightforward. A little more complicated is moving from NAND to OR. Here, the setup is to complement each input individually and then pass those through a NAND gate. This may seem strange at first, but we can prove it. The algebraic reading of the gates shows that we first complement x and y separately. Then we add those results together. Then we complement the product. Now take this expression and apply it to Morgan's theorem. By applying the outside prime to each inside literal, x prime prime becomes x, y prime prime becomes y, and the AND operator changes to OR. Voila! The result is simply x or y. The exact same structure allows us to represent AND logic using just NOR gates, as you can see here. First, complement the individual inputs, then pass through a NOR gate. Again, de Morgan's theorem proves this conversion. Wait, 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 you should be thinking. I thought we were using only NAND or NOR gates. What are those NOT gates doing in the diagrams? With a physical wiring, we can make a NOT gate with a single NAND gate or NOR gate. The next slide will show us how. But for ease of drawing and understanding, it is better to leave those NOT operations drawn like you see here. So how can we replace a single NOT gate with one of the universal gates? The idea is simple branch the single NOT input as both inputs to a NAND gate or a NOR gate. Look at this diagram here. All three setups would output X prime. This can also be proved by our Boolean algebra rules. The NAND gate performs X and X quantity complemented. Inside the parentheses, X and X just leaves X and the prime sticks around. A similar argument demonstrates that the NOR gate performs X or X quantity complemented, resulting in X prime. So if you are physically wiring a circuit using only one of the universal gates and you need to perform a NOT operation, follow that pattern. 
However, when making the theoretical circuits on paper or in a simulator, it will be more convenient to leave the knots drawn as knot gates. Compare these two schematics. Both would produce an AND operation, but the left one was easier to draw and read. Print out or take notes on these schematics for converting AND or NOT operations into either NAND or NOR gates. This will become our guide or key for converting entire logic circuits. We'll see how in the next video.